Welcome everybody to our first official goddess lecture. So we've been really learning a lot about the foundations of this work, about the psyche, about her story. We've been going into a little bit of work with the chakras and today we're gonna to really start doing our first goddess lectures. So we're gonna start with Artemis and she is my absolute favorite. Uh, she's the goddess of the hunt. She is the goddess of the wild and she's the goddess of the moon. So with her work, she's really, really important to start with. And the reason is that she starts to really get our root chakra activated, okay? So the root chakra, if you remember from the lectures, it's the foundation, right? So without our foundation, we can't really soar to high heights. So really, really getting that root stable and the foundation stable is critical for doing this reclaiming work, okay? So the root chakra really helps us to understand our relationship with trust and safety and control and fear. When we're not feeling very safe, we tend to control and we stop trusting. So as we work with Artemis, she's gonna help us to rekindle that trust. Not only the trust of our journey, our path up the mountain that we're all doing from our soul's perspective, but also our journey with our own body, our journey with our food system, our journey with sisterhood and with other women. Okay, so she really starts to create this beautiful foundation for us that we can do the rest of this work. Okay, the root chakra. So you'll remember from the lectures of the chakras that this is the etheric body. So the etheric body is a very thin layer around the physical body that actually is the grid or the foundational energetic blueprint that the body grows on. This includes our organ systems, all of our bones, our brain, everything. So if this system, this etheric body is healthy, then our physical body tends to be healthy as well. All right. So how do we keep the etheric body healthy? Okay, well, really we look at food, we look at our self-talk, we look at how we treat our body image. Okay. Those are some of the ways we can really start to heal and get in touch with this etheric body, this this their body is really the vehicle that we're in when we're in physical form in this 3D reality. Okay, it's the part of us that feels senses. It feels like I can see something. It feels like I can touch something. It feels like I can hear something. Um, in other dimensional spaces, say the astral world, it's not like this necessarily. Okay, so this is one of the only ways that we can really sense separateness and separateness meaning separate senses. Okay, so it's pretty amazing that we get to have this experience at all. So we need to really start to look at how do we keep this body healthy? All right, we're gonna talk about hunting. She's the goddess of the hunt. How do we hunt properly? How do we manifest properly um, from a soul alignment space, not just from an ego desire space? Okay, most of us are on this journey that are taking this class are probably more advanced souls, which means we're here to do certain things and have certain experiences to help our soul ascend. Okay, ascension is key. Um, we're trying to move away, or we are, our lessons in our life, our relationships are helping us to move away from that really lower vibration 3D reality where we believe that we are the most important thing. Most of us are probably in service in some way. So how do we continue to elevate our own soul, our own frequency to resonate on higher levels and also continue to stay grounded and rooted while in this reality. Okay. So sisterhood, most women like to compete with each other. Um, so we're gonna look at this. We're gonna look at what is this thing that women do and where does sisterhood come in? Artemis is the goddess of sisterhood. Okay, she runs around the forest with her nymphs and they form a tribe. So this is all about tribal consciousness in this root chakra as well really looking at how do I feel like I belong in this world? Okay, do I feel like I belong? Do I even feel like I have a right to exist here? And this is very much Artemis's um, teaching. I do have a right to exist here and I do have a right to belong. Right. So with that, we're gonna get into introduction to trauma. Okay, this, a lot of this training you'll see is about healing shame and about healing the disconnection we have from ourselves, from not only our physical body here, but our, our higher selves, okay? The part of us that gets atrophied when we develop stress responses in this body and have to cope or defend ourselves from feeling the things that were too big to feel when we were young. 
So we're going to get into this a little bit with Artemis. We're going to continue that journey when we get to Athena, her half sister in the mythologies, and really start to hone in on developmental trauma there. But this first intro is going to be about more neurobiology, about what happens to our actual body when we encounter something that feels like it's too much for us, okay, and gets locked up in the past. So this work is really critical, as you can see, to move forward. Um, yeah, it's, it's key. So what I like to say about all this goddess work, and this is a new concept, I want you to kind of put this in as, as a seed in the back of your mind, that all of this work is about creating something that I like to call inner gravity. So who am I really? And how do I feel connected to myself? Okay, not just my physical self here, but my astral self, who I am in the unseen worlds. Also my spiritual bodies, who am I in my higher dimensional self? Who am I as my highest avatar? Who would I be if I was expanded to my capacity? Okay, and can I bring that realization, that memory, that, that realization down into this body? And can I feel that inside myself? When I can feel it in myself, I know that's who I am. And I know who I'm not. So we'll learn that that's the most amazing protection you can ever have is to know yourself. And when I mean know yourself, it's not just in the mind. Okay, that inner gravity is really more about having this somatic in the body spiritual memory of who I am. Okay, so it's it's who I am in my mind. It's also who I am in my energy system in my posture, in my breathing, okay, how I interact with the world, how I respond to the world. So this work is very much about crafting and remembering those, those parts of us that inner gravity, that part that cannot be shaken. Okay. So this is Artemis. Let's get started. I hope you really enjoy her work. She was my absolute starting point, and I am so grateful to have her in my, my repertoire, in my tribe. So please have a wonderful time with this, and I will see you next time. Namaste.